Hello, good people. I am Nash at The Browser Company, and today I'm gonna to walk you through a couple of ways that I have let go of my tab overwhelm and cured my tab overload using Arc. Before I do that though, I'm gonna walk you through what my former browser life looked like because it may feel familiar to a few of you. For me, my day-to-day -day felt like fighting through different windows, trying to get to the places that I knew were somewhere in a tab. And that could be paying silly rent in New York City or finding different ways of paying silly rent across the city, catching up on a publication that I care deeply about, or fighting to find the tab where the work was that I was just trying to get done that day. So there are four key ways that I've been able to let go of my tab anxiety and find a little more control in how I navigate the internet using Arc. And the first of those is through spaces. I'm a big spaces user. I have three key spaces where I spend my day to day. The first of these is my active workspace where I keep track of the things that are top of mind that I'm actively working on. The second is, in my mind, my storage space. I call it browsing. It's all of my work at the browser company. And it is where I store work that is no longer top of mind or which I will come back to later, but I just don't want to see day to day. The third space is my personal space, which I love deeply, where I keep things that are personal projects I need to get done. But most importantly, I keep it relatively clean because this is where I come to write. And I just don't want to see too much when I enter this personal space. The second way that I keep the tabs at bay is through my favorites. So favorites are these mini apps or mini tabs that you keep at the top of all of your spaces and they allow you to access the websites that you spend the most time on day to day without having to click around or even open new tabs for them. And so I keep my Notion up here, which is what we run on at the browser company, my calendar to keep an eye on my upcoming meetings and just use the one click zoom to dive into those and mode, which is where we track our growth day to day at the browser company. The third way that I keep some control over my online life is through pinned tabs and today tabs. So if we head back to my personal space, there are tabs that you see above this line and folders, and those are tabs that will remain day to day. And beneath them, there are today tabs. And today tabs essentially are tabs that I have gone through a rabbit hole on and kind of just pulled up doing research that I don't care about keeping past today. For me, they get cleared out every 12 hours. For you, it may be every seven days, 30 days, you get to decide. If there is a tab that I care about keeping, I just pull it up into my pinned tab sections, and then I can head over and just click clear or let Arc clear my tabs away at the end of the day. Adina on our team has a wonderful video about pin tabs versus bookmarks, which I highly encourage you to take a look at if you're curious. The final and fourth way that I have cured my tab overload using Arc is through letting Arc find tabs that already exist without duplicating them again. And so if I hit Command T and I say, I want to catch up on this publication that I love dearly, you'll see that Arc has opened up the tab that already existed. It's switched to the tab versus opening up a net new tab for me. And that means that I can find anything which is in any of my workspaces just through my command bar without having to open a new tab and create more clutter within my space. So those are the four key ways that I have cured my tab overload. And to walk you through those, the first is spaces, which allow me to keep my separate life between work life and my personal life. The second is through favorites, which are my top apps over here, and previews, which allow me to access them at any time, just one click away. The third is through letting Arc get rid of what I don't need. And so for me, that is clearing up my tabs every seven days or 12 hours, and then letting Arc switch to existing tabs to avoid me opening up a bunch of duplicates. That's it for me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to comment below and I will get back to you. You can also always find me on Twitter at Lafimwen, which no one ever knows how to spell, or just by looking up Nashilu and I should come up in that way. I will see you on the internet and I wish you a wonderful time creating your arc.